What's up everybody? Welcome back to another how-to video. In today's video, I'm going to show how to and review some composite sleeves to go over these porch posts. In a previous video, I showed how to install these posts, so check it out. So since these posts are already existing, the sleeves need to be assembled around the outside. For this, we have these sleeve covers. They come in four pieces and wrap around the post from the outside. I also have these trim rings for the bottom that come in four pieces and wrap around from the outside. So let's do it. We will start with the post wraps. The instructions show four easy steps. Step one, measure the height of the post to wrap. Subtract 1 8 of an inch to allow for expansion and cut all four quarters of the post wrap. The first post measures 92 and 3 8 so we'll cut the sleeves an eighth of an inch shorter at 92 and a quarter. And check out this cool little guy. I'm going to mark, measure, and cut in the grass so they don't get damaged from rubbing and sitting on the concrete. So right now I'll mark it 92 and a quarter. And I marked it so that we're going to cut off the line. Then there won't be any permanent marker showing in the final product. Now let's line up and make the cut. Perfect. For the remaining cuts, we'll use the first one as the master to measure the rest of them so they're all exactly the same. Now the cuts are complete. Step two, align and connect two quarters in place around the post and compress for a snug fit. Then remove the assembled half and set safely aside. Before assembling the actual sleeves, I'll give it a try on these scrap pieces first. I have some leftover scrap from the post. And this is the leftover scrap from the post sleeves. So you get them started, push them snug, and take it off and set it aside for later. That went pretty smooth. Let's see how it goes on the 8 foot long post. I'm going to get these first two started on the ground. I think it'll be a lot easier because of the length. Then once they're started, I'll bring them over to the post and snap them together nice and tight. Okay, they're together. One lesson I learned is maybe not to do it on the grass. 
I got a couple blades of grass pinched in there. Now I'll bring it over to the post and squeeze it on. I've stood it up on the post and now just need to squeeze it together. It's now nice and snug and looks good. The next step is to align and connect the remaining two quarters, but do not compress. Leave roughly a quarter inch. For this step, we'll use the test block again. We're going to assemble two pieces, but not push them tight on the block. We'll leave a quarter inch. That's actually about a quarter inch right there. So that step is complete. So let's connect these two last pieces. I'm not going to put them on the post to get the quarter inch. I'll just set it in this test block. I can do it all right on the ground here. I think we're all set. Time for the next step. The fourth and final step says to put the first assembled half into position and clamp it in place. Then align the channels and ribs of the second half into the first and compress until all four sides are equal in width. So in the final step we'll install the first half that we made that is snug and then the second half that we made that has the quarter inch clearance. Get everything lined up and started. Then push it all together. And that is the final product. Looks real good. Now I'll bring over the second half with the quarter inch clearance and snap them all together. Well, it snapped on and I'm pleasantly surprised to say that it went on very easy. I wasn't quite sure I read several of the reviews before installing these and a lot of people said that you need clamps and straps or several people because it's impossible to do by yourself and it takes hours and hours. I snapped these on all by myself in less than two minutes. I would definitely recommend these. I don't know what those people were doing.
These don't come with any instructions. They just say they're adjustable from four to six inches. Looking inside at the mechanism, there's only about three eighths of an inch of adjustment to slide it in. There are some pre-notched slots in these marked at six, five, four, and three. I don't know exactly what those mean, so I'm going to measure and cut off exactly what I need. Using our test piece and holding the base corner snug against the side, this end needs to slide in pretty much where that slot is, mark six. We'll cut it there, cutting off the slot. That'll leave a little bit of extra clearance room, but plenty of engagement. With the base pieces cut, let's install them for a nice, snug fit. That turned out great. Perfect fit. With the post covers and bases installed, this project is complete. My recommendation and review of this product is that it is great. It was easy to install and looks good. As for the countless reviews saying that these covers are impossible to install alone, that you need three people, you need straps, clamps, and people even returned them because they couldn't figure it out. I have absolutely no idea what they were doing. These were quick, straightforward, and easy. And after the first one, I even came up with some shortcuts to make it even faster. So I recommend these. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Subscribing will really help the channel. I make new how-to videos every day or every week. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Okay. I gotta plug in. <laughs> but there's only like 5% left on there. Okay. So I have to do it quick.